Do your shoulders ever bother you when you do lateral raises at the gym? This is one of the most common complaints that we hear about when people try to do this exercise. However, there are some very specific tweaks that you can make to doing this exercise to reduce the likelihood that it bothers your shoulders. Check out this Trainer Tip Tuesday in order to learn what they are. Hey, welcome back to Trainer Tip Tuesday, everybody. All month long, we're gonna be talking about doing lateral raises and how to do them to keep your shoulders safe. Lateral raises can be one of the most effective ways at building your shoulder muscles, but the way that most people do them actually creates more issues for their shoulders than the benefits that it provides. So here are some things that you can start doing immediately when you do this exercise to not only make it more safe, but make it more effective for you as well. This week, let's just review the basic form for everywhere that's not your shoulders. I wanna bring this up because most people get it wrong, so let's talk about what should be moving and what should not be moving when you do a lateral raise. When you're doing any exercise, it's important to keep what shouldn't be moving not moving and keep what should be moving moving. So when you do lateral raises, it's important to set your trunk and torso so that it's not moving at all and you only allow your shoulders and shoulder blades to move when you do this exercise. One way to make sure this happens is to make sure you move really slowly. A lot of people, again, like to start moving their torso to help them get their reps done, but we really advise that you don't move your torso at all, you set it and don't let it move after that point. Utilize these tips the next time you do lateral raises in order to make sure that not only does your body stay safe while you do them, but the exercise is as effective as it can be for you. 